So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about tips for working from home. I know a lot of people are working from home, so you guys always want some tips. Um, I have worked from home for seven months before I started my new job that I have now. And now, because of the coronavirus, we are all working from home, working remotely. So I feel like I have a good amount of tips on how I used to do out my day and how from my office at work and using what I did every day at there. During those days, I'm applying it here, but I feel like a lot of that I have to do or else I'm not going to work, you know? So I have a list on my phone here, and this video was inspired by Alicia Marie. She did make this video recently on her channel, and I really was inspired by it. Some of her tips I did include in my video, but a lot of it is a lot of my stuff that I use on a daily basis, and I'm going to talk about how I use these tips, if you get what I mean. So, and without further ado, let's just get on to the video. So this first tip is very important, I feel like in my, is to get dressed. Getting dressed, in my opinion, I just feel like you want to get dressed with your work clothes every day, do it. For me, I just wear regular comfy clothes during the day here. I do not get into my work clothes, it just, for some reason, I just don't feel like it. But as long as I'm in some type of normal clothes, I'm not in pajamas all day. I feel like if I'm in pajamas all day, I will not get any work done. I normally just wear a comfy shirt and some like leggings, or I do wear sweatpants, but you guys do you on, on how you want. I do not do makeup, um, cause I don't really do makeup for work either. I like, do you, you can get dressed. If you don't want to get dressed, as long as you're productive throughout the day, that's all that matters and you get your work done. So the next is to make lists. The lists I learned for me in the last four months have been the best thing ever. I used to make lists all the time, even just for YouTube. At work, I use a lot of sticky notes. I learned that on the Windows and Mac, they have this app called Stickies. Yeah, they're called both on the um, both Windows and Mac, and I've been using it a lot um, on my computer. So, so at work, I have a window, so we're like remotely signed in, and I use the sticky note just to write my to-do list of what I need to get done that day. Because if I don't, I will go crazy, and I'll be like, "What do I have to get done? What is first? What should I do? What should I prioritize, or whatever?" So I did that right before I ended the day, just before. And I just wrote a list of things that I have to send out or things I have to work on for, for tomorrow. So, so today I'm filming this Thursday night, tomorrow Friday. I have a 9 to 5 on Friday. So I just had to figure out what I want to do each day. Another tip. Um, I don't know if Alicia mentioned this in her video, but at least for me that's helpful is to take breaks. breaks. I take a lot of breaks during the day, but that just gets me more motivated to work. I do get lazy and need an extra couple minutes to the break here and there, but I really need my breaks. If I don't take a break, to just go on my phone for a few minutes or like take a 20 minute break to watch a YouTube video or 15 minute break. I just need it because that's just how my brain functions. I need the break. I can't go all into the computer. Like I will block out a few hours for the computer and then I'll work and then I'll get this done and be like okay I sent that out okay you can take a break and play a game play your game and then you go back to work or you take a break and you watch a little bit of Netflix or something sometimes I also do have things on in the background just to like that's just sometimes I do at work too depending on the day next tip is to work where you feel comfortable so I work for my vanity, um, which I call my desk because that's just where I feel comfortable. If you guys know, I used to have a desk. Now I have a chair in there. Maybe I'll work from there in the chair one day. Sometimes I do work from my bed. If you do work from your bed, get uh, if you have a laptop, you can get where you can get a fan type of thing, put it on the bottom, and plug it in so it doesn't overheat, and get a lap desk. Um, I will link the one that I just bought. I just bought one 
just to have here um to use on my bed because sometimes I do move to my bed because I just sometimes feel comfortable and I just need to lie down but I do get work done another thing is to keep your routine the same as if you were at the office so for me my routine is so very similar as I said I do it's a little different because I'm now at home so I don't have to wake up as early like about 10 o'clock 9 30 I don't have to wake up that early um to like do things so I'm home and I can't do anything and I'm just like what would I do but for me I do wake about an hour or so earlier no I wake about uh, yeah about an hour ish earlier I have some breakfast which is what I did at work I would have breakfast um at my aunt's house I make something and then or I like buy breakfast and I'll eat it and then I'll wait a little while and I'll eat like a lunch so I'll have an earlier lunch um, when I'm at work because I have my dinner break and I get all my work done and I do a lot of the same things I do there. It's like waking up the same time or things like that. If you can as much as you can at being at home really helps, really helps you stay in focus. So another thing I have on my list is to um, log into the computer at least five to ten minutes early. I do not do this all the time, but I do try, I do at least five minutes, I log into the computer, I just set everything up, or I just at least turn on the computer, maybe like 20 minutes before I turn it on, and then I just lay, just lie down a little bit, and then what I know is getting closer to the hour that I have to start working, I will go on and be like, okay, it's time to work. So a few other things I do want to mention is like how I organize myself, what I keep when I'm working and things like that. So a few of the things I do when I'm working is I do have a pencil holder. In a pencil holder I keep all my pens. I have all my colorful pencils as you guys see. Um, I keep a water bottle or a cup. Um, since I was in quarantine self quarantine at home for a little while I was using water bottle but now since I'm not I can just use a regular cup and keep a glass of water and refill it every day for a few hours because you need to stay hydrated hydration is really key to helping you stay focused during the day at work or at least for me it is hydration is key um I like to always have water with me I have snacks that's another thing I like is snacking so when I get something done, something done, I do have snacks and I'll be like, hey, you can have a snack break. You did this, so you can have a snack break. Or hey, you can have your lunch now because you got a lot done. That's how I felt today. I got a lot done. So I was like, you know what? You are hungry. You deserve um, a lunch break. And yeah, so that is my tips about working from home. I hope you guys enjoy them and I hope they were motivated for you guys and yeah these tips were helpful for you guys um, if you guys have any other tips let me know down below um because i like learning some new tips uh about working from home working remotely however you want to say it as but yeah so yeah so i will talk to you guys in another video thank you guys so much for watching bye